This video is a product overview of the Titanium Satellite ASC-1 Actuator and Polarity Controller. The ASC-1 allows any satellite receiver to control the dish positioning and polarity control. The rugged machined aluminum case and quality components make the ASC-1 a perfect centerpiece for any satellite system. Let's take a look at the main menu. In this menu, you may set the LNB type, build a satellite list including the positioner and polarity offsets, and set the east and west limits. You may also perform a system reset. There are two types of resets. The first is a reset of the satellite data, and the second is to reset the software limits. Let's go ahead and first reset the satellite data. Highlight satellite data and press OK. Press OK a second time to confirm and then the satellite data is reset. Now let's reset the software limits. Select, press OK, and then when prompted to confirm, press OK a second time. The software limit is now reset. Now let's quit and go back to the main menu. To protect your motor and dish from damage, it's important to set a software east limit and west limit to limit the travel of your motor. Let's select the position and now drive the motor to the farthest west position before the actuator hits the end of its travel or the dish contacts uh, an object. In this case, we'll set our position at 64 and then select Set as West Limit and press OK. The West Limit is now saved. Now let's drive the positioner to the farthest east position. Be careful to watch the dish as it moves to make sure that the dish does not contact any objects and potentially damage. Now as we reach the end of the travel, you'll notice that we'll back it up a little bit so it doesn't hit the end of the travel. So in this case, I'm going to back it up a few notches. Notice how I'm moving it one notch at a time. Okay, uh, that's about it. So now let's go ahead and set as East Limit and press OK. The East Limit is now saved. Now let's select Quit, press OK to go back to the main menu. LMB Typeset allows the voltage output to be set by the user, either to be voltage selected polarity, either 1813 or 1318, or if you're using an LMB, you can have the voltage output fixed at 18 volts or fixed at 13 volts. Uh, this is useful when using switches as well. Highlight Save and press OK. The LMB type is now saved. Select Quit and press OK to return to the main menu. The satellite list may either be programmed with your set-top box using the DeSeq 1.2 installation menu, or in this example I will show you how to program it manually. I'm going to select the DeSeq position number and change that to 1. Now go down to the position control and drive the dish to the satellite position. In this case, I'm going to drive it until the counter shows 125. Now, I'm going to leave the horizontal and the vertical polarity control offset set at the defaults of negative 45 and positive 45. Now I'm going to save by pressing OK and then pressing OK a second time to confirm. Now we're going to go back and we're going to add a few more satellite positions. We change the positioner number to number 2. Now go down to the position and drive the actuator to the east until we get to the second satellite position. Okay, let's go ahead and call this position 223. No, I'm optimizing it a bit. Let's call it 225. The horizontal polarity offset looks good at 40, minus 45. 
Uh, the vertical looks good at positive 45, so I'm going to leave that. Highlight Save, press OK, and then press OK a second time to confirm. The satellite data is now saved. Now let's go ahead and go back and add a third satellite position. Okay, going to change this to position number three. Going down to the positioner control, and now going to drive this east until I reach the optimum position setting of my motor for the third satellite. Okay, uh, we're getting close there. All right, that looks pretty good. Now on this one, let's change the polarity offset. Horizontal, it looks like we can change the skew slightly to optimize our signal. Uh, that looks pretty good there. And now let's check a vertical channel. I'm going to adjust the vertical offset until that's optimized. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead, select Save, press OK, and then press OK again to confirm. And this data has been saved. Now let's go ahead, select Quit, and go back to the main menu. You can add up to 99 different satellites and polarity settings into this menu. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the automatic control of the ASC-1 using a set-top box. For this example, I'm just going to simply select a channel that's on satellite number 2 on my receiver, and the ASC-1 drives the motor to the predetermined setting. Now I'm going to select a channel that's on satellite number 3. The positioner moves to the east and stops. Notice that the polarity has changed for the presetting for this satellite. Now I've selected a channel that's on satellite number 45. It drives further to the east and once again the polarity offset is automatically set. This satellite list may be exported to the PC editor. You may add satellite names, change the positions, and edit and then reload back. For more information, visit us at www.titaniumsatellite.com.